Folks, hello and welcome to Tavern Chat. I'm your host, Eric Tenkar, your bartender in the OSR, your main proprietor at the Tenkar's Tavern blog. And I know I had mentioned Adventure of Conqueror King System 2, the Imperial imprint yesterday, when I mentioned that they, they got a license for Chuck Dixon's Conan, which is exciting. I'm a little bit of a, I'm not a huge Conan geek, but I like Conan. I, I even own the, uh, TSR Conan RPG. All right. Not great. But the GURP stuff was really good. Just just saying. So, the Adventure Conqueror King System Imperial Imprint Acts 2 Kickstarter went live at noon Eastern today. As I record this, it is 7.04. It has raised $164,000 with the $50,000 goal, it is knocking down stretch goals. It has 826 backers. There's a different track of stretch goals. They had 1,000 backers. Uh, they should hit the 1,000 backers before the night is out. Very impressive. <clears throat> so what do we have here? We have uh, three core books. So I know it's a, it, it, for those of you who have the original acts, it was one book. Now you got three core books. But really, one is the rule book. Um, and the other two are, I don't want to say optional, but they're more aimed for the GM or the DM. So if you're going to be a player, what you need is the revised rule book. It is 560 pages, hardcover, lay flat, sewn printing, bonded, Leather cover, but I'm not sure. I don't think that's, I think that's not true leather. I think that's, I think it's a, a pleather leather, man made leather, but still looks damn awesome. Um, 18 character classes, 110 proficiencies, 378 spells. Now, remember, the spells had to be rewritten, especially renamed, because we're not using the OGL here. Okay, this should be released under the ORC license so you can write material for Acts 2. Um, just taking out the setting material, but Acts as first edition of Acts was just great as a resource if you were anybody who wanted to run a campaign that took an account events other than just a dungeon or 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 wandering running your uh, sandbox. Um, this really specializes in all that stuff. So, equipment lists. Dungeon delving, wilderness expedition, sea voyage, and naval warfare. Combat mechanics that play like a realistic simulation of ancient hand-to-hand -hand battle at low levels and cinematic emulation of the legendary exploits of demigods and heroes at high levels. I'd really like to see that. Stronghold and domain has always been a strong point of Axe. Hijinks and hideouts, that's for high-level thieves, magic research, mercantile venture. Well, this is the kind of thing for, like, Joe the Lawyer. Uh, mass combat mechanics. That is awesome. Uh, I play-tested the uh, Axe 1 combat uh, mass combat rules. Oh, my God, it must be a decade ago, if not longer. Uh, but they were a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to that. The Judge's Journal, you see the alliteration, the uh, revised rule book, the Judge's Journal, 496 pages, and it's divided into parts. Part one is Praxis, Foundational Principles, Weather Generation System, Monster Encounter Tables, Terrain Encounters, A Settlement Encounter System, Random Vagaries, of rule, war, and battle, more than 150 marvelous magic items, and special rules for places of power, poison, and magical transformations. Construction goes over setting construction. Now, this may work pretty well with uh, Rob Conley's How to Build a Fantasy Sandbox. I will include a link to Rob's current Kickstarter uh, in the show notes for this video. Um, I think if you want to run a sandbox using Rob's work with the Axe 2 uh, system, 
might be what the doctor ordered. I swear, it really sounds damn, damn good. A realm generation system that allows you to bring your setting into the actual economic and political framework. A settlement generation system with nine ready-to-run points of interest. A system of dungeon design, NPC creation. Abstraction gives you abstract dungeon design that allows high-level heroes to dispatch their henchmen, hirelings, your minions to uh, explore dungeons and with the resolution system. An abstract wilderness exploration system. And then, of course, customization. Custom classes, one of the best things that Axe first edition had was oh god was the companion book where they had additional classes and the rules that you could build your own classes very useful straight on awesome stuff uh i always love tinker with that rules for creating custom races that go beyond elf dwarf and halfling custom spell creation custom magic types a set of variant rules so it allows you to make this into your own the Monsters Manual, 416 pages, 270 monster entries, monster creation rules, taming, training, monstrous henchmen, um, collecting parts for spell components, and more. And uh, I think that that really is spot on. Uh, judges, uh, a judge's screen. Uh, I like, I like, I like my screens. I probably would prefer it to be, was it the, the, the two-thirds height screen that they've been doing? But I'll be happy with this. Um, the wooden slipcase looks awesome. I I personally, for an extra 50 bucks, uh, I'll pass. At least for now. Maybe I'll change my mind before this funds. But, so, right now, 175 gets you... The revised rule book, the judge's journal, the monstrous manual in hardcover and PDF and the judge's screen for 175. That is good through, I believe, October 26th. After which point you're in for 200 if you want that. So, yes, I went in for 175. As did 618 backers. So now let's just. As, as we're doing this, let's just peek. And ah, look at that. Hit 165 in the few minutes since we started this video. So I guess that really shouldn't be a surprise. But um, So for those of you wondering, well, what if I'm coming from 5e? What does X do for me if I'm coming from 5e? Or if I'm coming from, I don't know, even Swords and Wizardry? This, but this, this is if if you back this, you'll get an opportunity to play test Chuck Dixon's Conan. All backers of Acts Two will be invited to participate in the development and play testing of Chuck Dixon's Conan Sourcebook, with early access to rules, drafts, session reports, and art. So there are stretch goals, and all the stretch goals are just they they've, they've been falling to the wayside. Uh, so. We hit the stretch goal for one, which is an axe conversion guide. So everybody will be getting that and it tells you how to convert your campaign to axe, second edition, imperial edition, uh, including from 5e. Um, and then there is a party of pre made adventurers that was at 65, 80 was hit, some one page dungeons from Old School Jelly. Uh, at a hundred thousand, which was hit, uh, one page dungeon set number two, three adventures for mid level characters, 125 that was hit, uh, three adventures for high level characters, and all nine adventures are going to be in the judge's journal, so they'll be there in print, not just PDF. Uh, 150, three new campaign classes to the revised rule book. Paladin, Warlock, and the Witch. They ah, Player's Companion. Yes, and they they, they are being updated for Acts Two. Now, uh, we do know that VTTs are, uh, I guess, where future gaming wars are going to be had between publishers, and we know that um, Watsi 
has uh, decided that they're going to put out their own VTT. Um, you have the top three, in no particular order, are, well, maybe it's Roll20, Fantasy Grounds, and Foundry. Well, uh, Alex McCree uh, apparently has been using Foundry to run his playtest campaigns, and that's where they are going to be putting money to get uh, an Axe 2 official Foundry module. So if you run campaigns online or play them online, I do. Um, I think that's a really awesome thing. It's, it's, it, should be, it should be good. It should be fun. So I will include a link to the Adventure of Conqueror King system, Imperial Imprint, otherwise known as Axe 2, in the show notes and as a pinned comment. I'll also include Rob Conley, Rat in the Attic, his How to Build a Fantasy Sandbox. I think that they should work with some great synergy. Now, for those that, um, I don't know, uh, don't have patience, right? That's all of us. Estimated delivery for the physical is November 2024. Estimated delivery for the PDFs, November 2023. So, um, you should be able to get your hands on these PDFs within a month or so. Um, I think that's pretty exciting. That, that's pretty good. I know that uh, Alex gave me some early peeks at what he was working on when I had seen it. It looked really, really damn good. So I'm looking forward to not just being a backer, but adding this to my repertoire of games that either I play or I steal from. And uh, I've always stolen from acts when I run games because there's so much that can just be very useful to your campaign within it. So, on that note, tomorrow night we have Alex Camera Game Hall Con, and he also has a Kickstarter for our guy games that is up right now. Alex Camera will be our special guest tomorrow night with Bad Mike and myself, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central, and then November 1st, a week later, Alex Macris. You can't you can't make this up, folks. You just can't make it up. So um, on that note, oh so yeah, subscribe, like the whole the whole nine yards. That's an affiliate link on the bottom to drive through. If you shop there, you're supporting this channel. Um, be safe, be well, God bless. Roll those dice, roll them well. I'll be back again with the live stream. Tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Hope to see you then.